everyone, welcome back to the Hubie Italian channel. This is Stella Bella. Now a lot of us, just from our daily living, our lifestyle, or even our day-to-day -day jobs, we've developed some pretty bad habits and that can lead to bad posture and a lot of neck, shoulder, and back pain. We generally don't notice it, but then over time, it starts to get a little bit tight around the shoulders, our shoulders start hunching over a little, neck becomes a little bit sore, we start finding ourselves doing things like this, massaging it throughout the day. And at that point, we generally end up paying a lot of money for massages, physio appointments, chiropractors, and so on. But today, I want to show you the five pieces of equipment that I use on a regular basis to help relieve some of that shoulder and back and neck tension that actually works and fixes your posture. I'm gonna show you today what they are, where you can get it from, and how to use them as well. first piece of equipment you should get is a foam roller. You can get one of these at any sporting goods stores or even Kmart, Target, Big W, any of your local department variety stores. You can get ones that are completely smooth or the one that I have right now which has the little nubs on top which helps to massage any trigger points as well. This is very handy for any myofascial release that you want to do at home without having to spend money to go to the physio or the chiropractor. So as you can see here, I'm demonstrating some of the exercises that I do with the foam roller. If you're more experienced, you can have your arms directly above your head straightened out. Otherwise, you can cross them over your chest or even behind your head for extra support. Sometimes I just lie there starting with the middle of my back and then slowly rolling it up towards my neck and then down again towards my lower back, keeping the foam roller mostly centered in the middle of my back just to roll out each of those vertebrae, give it a bit of a stretch. I find that this stretch really releases a lot of the tension that we hold in our shoulders, within our shoulder blades, and also in the middle of our backs. If you find that the foam roller is a little bit too harsh for you, you can actually get some back stretches from Kmart, Target, Big W, that are a little easier on your back and it's a little bit lower and not as steep. I also love to use the foam roller to improve my shoulder flexibility by doing this stretch right here. So gently place your arms in front of you, keep it as straight as possible, but loosen up those elbows and just roll out and breathe into that stretch. It really opens up the chest and shoulders and help to improve some of the hunches that we get in our day-to-day -day lives when we're sitting at the desk or computers for too long. And speaking of sitting at the desk for too long, we need to look after our legs as well. A lot of the tension that we feel in our lower backs are often attributed to tight hamstrings, quads and glutes. So it's really important to release some of that tension and roll it out. Start off gently, have one leg down on the floor to support you because it can be a little bit painful when you first start. Next up, we have the spiky ball or the massage ball or the physio ball, whatever you like to call it. The one that I have is covered in spikes and it's rock hard. But you can also use a tennis ball for this for an alternative option, especially if you are quite sensitive to pain. To locate the correct muscle, all you need to do is place the ball on the ground and sit the side of your glute onto that muscle. Start rolling it around in that general area and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about because you'll hit a muscle that is so tight and painful and that is the muscle that we need to massage out with the spiky ball which will help to relieve a lot of the pain and tension in our lower back. When you find the muscle, sink down slowly, breathe through the massage and just let the board do its work. Then you can start rolling it out slowly and gently to loosen up the tension around the surrounding areas as well. Once you get used to the spiky ball, you can also use it on your back. Now, I love to do this stretch, either standing up against the wall and rolling the ball up and down with my back or on the floor for a deeper massage. Be careful not to roll it over the bone, but in between your shoulder blades are muscles that have a lot of trigger points. And also in the middle of your back and your lower back area. This stretch right here really helps to relieve a lot of that tension. Now, next up, we have the yoga strap, or alternatively, you can use resistant bands or the little elastic bands, or if you don't want to buy any extra equipment, you can even use a tea towel or a bath towel that is fairly thin. You don't want it to be too thick, otherwise you'll have to grip onto it a little bit harder and you might end up focusing too much on your grip strength rather than the massage or the stretch itself. 
if this is your first time stretching you want to make sure you have quite a bit of a wide grip and you can always bring your hands in closer as you get more flexible and more used to the stretch bring it gently above your head and then back behind you and then back over your head and in front you can also stretch side to side to really open up those obliques and you want to repeat that maybe 10 times each session, 10 to 20 times and multiple times a day as you get used to the stretch. What this does is open up your shoulders, open up the chest and really fixes that hunched over posture that we often get, especially if we have a desk job or we work with computers a lot. Whenever you do any sort of stretching or any form of massage, do be careful, especially if you're starting off, take it slowly, gently, and only do up to what you're comfortable with. Listen to your body and don't push too hard, especially when you first start off. Next up, we have the cervical traction device. So this one stretches out your neck or the cervical spine. So I've got two varieties here. This one here is a chiropractic grade one. So one that you will need to get an x-ray done first and purchase from the chiropractor, and this is called a Denarol. The other one you can just get from Amazon and it's for general use. Now do be careful when you're using these devices, make sure it is suitable for you. And there's usually different settings on the device. So make sure you are starting off at the most basic beginner level and slowly working your way up. Now our necks are supposed to have a natural curve to it. And over time, when we're sitting hunchback with poor posture, looking at our computer screens, we often lose that curve, which causes a lot of pressure and added pain and stress onto the rest of our spine and shoulders, which is why we start getting a lot of shoulders, neck and back pains. In order to correct that, we need to bring the curve back into our cervical spine or our necks. And this is what this pillow or this cervical contraction device actually helps with. Now, all you need to do is just lie on the pillow, adjust it so that your neck feels comfortable and relax into it. Having your knees up also in a comfortable position and maybe hold it for just a couple of minutes to begin with and only do this maybe once or twice a week and slowly build up from there. When you finish, you need to make sure that you get up very slowly off the device because we are dealing with the neck here. It is very sensitive after you've done the stretching. Even if it's only for a couple of minutes, your neck will be a little bit tender and sensitive from it. So make sure to roll gently onto the side and slowly get up off the device. Otherwise, you may feel a little bit of pain or pull a muscle. Now the final piece of equipment that I can recommend to you is this trigger point massager here. So there are so many different types of these and you'll see it at sporting goods, massage shops, or even $2 stores. The one I'm holding right now, I got at Rebel Sports, but basically anything that looks like a fish hook with a trigger point massage point at the very end of it will suffice. Now on our upper backs and especially in between our shoulder blades, there are a lot of trigger points and those points is what causes a lot of headaches or tension headaches, neck pains and shoulder pains. But those trigger points actually cause what we call referral pain. So a lot of the times when we get a headache or migraines or neck pains, it's not actually coming from the neck itself. There's a huge chance that the pain is caused by trigger points that are located somewhere else. And in this case, those trigger points are often in our backs and if we can massage those trigger points it can help with migraines headaches and release a lot of the pain that we feel in other areas of our bodies now of course you don't actually need equipment in order to get a better posture a lot of it just comes down to habits and lifestyle so nothing prevents you from just stretching out your neck without any equipment at all the most important thing is just to remember to do it. So set yourself an alarm, maybe five or 10 minutes every hour, or even every two hours to begin with, to just give your shoulders a bit of a roll, neck a bit of a stretch side to side, look up, look down, do maybe five to 10 times of each set. Consistency is key. And it's a lot better to be able to do short increments of something small rather than nothing at all. If you do have an extra minute or two and the floor space, you can give this stretch a go. Place your hands on the floor, knees shoulder width apart, fingertips facing towards your feet, looking up and push your chest up towards the sky. This really helps to open up your chest and shoulders and get those rounded shoulders pulled back so you have a better, leaner posture overall. Make sure to breathe deep into the stretch 
and if you bend your arms and lean back a little more or even flip your arms the other way you'll be able to get a different variety of stretch and open your chest up a little further and that's pretty much it from me for today guys i hope today's video has helped you to release some of that tension in your back and help you deal with those neck shoulder and back pains that we've always thought we had to live with if you have any comments or questions please drop it down below and make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel as well hubie and talents we're on instagram facebook tiktok and youtube and please follow me as well. My social media, TikTok and Instagram is stellabella.au. The link is down below. I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks so much for listening today and I hope you all have a wonderful week and I'll catch you next time. Bye.